CBS News and KDKA are committed to covering stories about the Earth and our environment all year long, but especially this week as we lead up to Earth Day on Friday. And tonight, we're taking a look at the impact climate change is having on our local farms. Yeah, we have a rich agricultural community here, and we've all reaped the benefits of it. Of course, we think about, you know, the Evans City corn every summer. Farmers, though, are now having to adjust to make sure they have a good harvest to get all that fresh produce to our tables. KDK meteorologist Felicia Woody takes us to the fields to find out what farmers are doing to adapt to our region's changing climate. Farming in western Pennsylvania certainly has its challenges, from the steep slopes of the field to the diseases that can harm the crops. But the biggest challenge farmers face is the weather. In my opinion, western Pennsylvania grows some of the best tasting vegetables in the world. And it's all about the weather and the soil. But if there's one word to describe the weather here in western PA, unpredictable and that can pose challenges for our local agriculture especially now with the, the weather we've had and all the rain and everything is making it very difficult to kind of get get going it's been too wet and too cold local farmers say the changes in our climate haven't gone unnoticed we've had more extremes in weather i think in the last 10 years than we had previously they say earlier warm-ups in spring followed by later than normal cold snaps as well as too much rain have been hurting crops in the early stages of growth. So when the temperature warms up and they kind of wake up and then it drops again, uh, they're a little more sensitive to the cold temperatures. The problem is once things start to go, they don't really stop. Um, you can't kind of go backward. There are some things, however, that farmers use to try to protect their crops during this delicate stage. We use row covers, floating row covers, so we can cover our crops in the field in the spring to help protect them from cold temperatures. And, and again, in the fall, we do the same thing as well. Now, we can't control the actual climate, but there's ways to control the plant's climate. And that can be done with the uses of greenhouses like this or high tunnels. Because of the weather extremes and everything, I can kind of control here and make a perfectly happy, healthy plant and uh, give it the exact nutrients that it needs and actually less water than I would out in the field. So that we can get crops earlier and then also later in the season as well. And with recent advancements in technology, not only do they have better equipment to protect the crops, they also can change the actual biology of the crop by increasing its resistance to weather extremes. In fact, Art King at Harvest Valley Farms got a jump start on his sweet corn this year because of it. And we have a variety of sweet corn that is cold soil tolerant so that we're able to grow sweet corn earlier. But even with all these new improvements and changes, the farmers know that this ever-changing climate will continue to pose issues year after year. A farmer is never going to be truly happy with the weather because it's either not enough or it's too much typically. Now this can also have an economic impact for not just the farmers, but for you, the consumer. But if there's not enough crop production because of a shortened season due to these heightened weather events, then you may end up paying more for your local produce. Felicia Woody, KDKA News.